All right, today we're going to work with a little bit of our typography. So, what we want to do is when we come in here and file a new in Illustrator, we're going to go and just open a letter just like we have been doing. Okay, then we're going to use our type tool. So, the thing you notice about the type tool is it changes your cursor to the little box with the I beam in it. You click and drag, it's going to drag out a text box and it fills it automatically with lorem ipsum text. You can take and delete off of that. So we're going to go just like that. Backspace. This is text in Illustrator. Okay. At the very top, you'll notice you have a characters panel. So if you click and drop that down, it'll give you more options. And you can make the text bigger. You'll see it pop up behind there. You could also do it right here. You could also go to Window and Type. Once I do this, uh, Window Type Character. You've got that box that pops out right there. Okay, so there's all different kinds of places to do it. You can change your font style right here, or your font type to a different font. Okay, all the same stuff. Now, if you click and hold, you've got the area type tool. We'll go over that in a bit. Type on a path. We'll go over that in a bit. And then you've got vertical type. So if I do vertical type, it's going to populate like this. This is text in Illustrator. Now, you'll notice that the text went away. Right here, you have this little red box that's got uh, plus in it. If you click that, you drag out somewhere else, it's going to show you that it's connected. This text connects here. So you can always drag it out. Conversely, if you got that red box, you can always just drag it to make it so that it fits. Okay, this is text for Illustrator. Now, uh, you don't have to keep any of that on your screen. Doesn't matter. Just wanted to show you that. If I come in here and I make a shape, I'm going to change my shape and my fill right here. I use the area type tool. It's going to type in that shape. If I have a different kind of shape, like a star, okay, and I have my star set up right here and I use the area type tool. It's going to try to fill it to that star so you can see a little bit better if I do this and make the text smaller. So you see it kind of fills out that star shape. All right, the next thing we want to do with our text is, and I'll use a circle for this because it's easier. We have a circle for any shape you have, really. We can use the type on a path tool. We can start it all the way over here. It's going to put it about center. Okay, and then if you have it set to left line, this is text in Illustrator. Okay, shift and up to, to select it all. You can make your font bigger. Now then you can type on a curve. Okay, you could also with text, if you use your pen tool or are proficient with a pen tool, you can make some lines like this. Okay, I'm gonna switch my stroke, keeps the my white keeps doing that. Start there, and you have your text on a curve. So those are some of the things you can do with text in Illustrator. I hope that helps you out a little bit. Um, if you want to change the color, we're going to use the type tool, highlight our text, okay, and we can come over here and change the color. Just like that, you changed it. Now, your assignment for the rest of this piece is to create a poster or a motivational poster using two different types of text, two different fonts, two different font sizes, okay, uh, and turn that in. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for watching.